Welcome everyone. We we'll, we would like to start up with some time traveling. Let's go back half a century ago to the 60s to be exact and focus on some of the technical breakthroughs in 1967, 50 years ago. So, the first handheld calculator was presented. It could add, subtract, multiply and divide. And the same year, the initial Boeing 737 made its first flight. And if we talk about Saab, well, the two of us who were representing the naval parts, one important milestone therein was the deployment of the submarine class Kweoma, or Sea Serpent, as you can see here in the background. It was regarded as one of the most advanced non-nuclear submarines in the world in the late 60s. So today, new technology is being developed as I'm speaking, both by us and by the market in general. Implantations of it are impossible to foresee 50 years ahead. Can you even imagine building and designing something that needs to be up to date and in full use the upcoming 50 years. Well, this is what we do on a daily basis. We have a history of constantly pushing evolution so that our customers can stay ahead of the game. We will now give you a brief insight of how we, today, design complex solutions like submarines and ensure that they are still ahead of the game half a century to come. Do we know what the battlefield will look like in 30, 40 or 50 years in the future? No, we don't. Did they know 50 years ago what the future will look like today? No, they didn't. We do know that, for example, autonomy and artificial intelligence will develop rapidly. But how exactly? When we design a submarine that will be operative for three or four or five decades into the future, in peacetime, as well as in full-scale war, we have to find out what the submarine is going to do. The crystal ball here is to find out what doctrinary capabilities the submarine is supposed to have. The basic doctrinary capabilities, engagement, mobility, endurance, protection, command and control and intelligence, they will most likely change quite slowly in terms of what to achieve. If we compare to the example of the Boeing 737 we mentioned earlier, the capability to transport people from one place to another still remain today as it did 50 years ago. Of course, there have been a lot of upgrades and changes on the aircraft, but the design of the aircraft is still valid. Let us briefly look into some of these basic doctrinary capabilities. Engagement. This is the ability to launch different kind of weapons and vehicles in order to be a threat to an enemy. This still remains today. Mobility. This is the ability to covertly move around in the oceans. Where the submarine will operate will most likely change. Therefore, we design today's submarines to operate globally. Protection. This is protection from an opponent's underwater sensors and weapons. But this also includes stealth, the very nature of a submarine being hidden under the surface of the seas, but also robustness against underwater explosions. Command and control and intelligence, we can easily foresee, will be very important in the future. But just as it is today, and it was important 50 years ago, we know that there are a lot of uncertainties in how these capabilities will be conducted in the future and we know that the requirements will change over time, some more than others. We make sure that our submarines will be locked and loaded for decades to come, not only by being ahead of the game today, but also 
by preparing it for future challenges. So, how do we design things in our business without knowing how the future will look like? Well, there are two major approaches of this challenge. The first one is using technology of very high quality that we can foresee will last for a long time. For example, infrastructures like electrical supply and of course steel structures. The other approach is with a Mollier mindset. We design and build the submarine in modules. For taking two easy examples is our Sterling and Diesel modules. These two modules are designed so they can easily be upgraded or replaced through already existing hatches. But we can also cut the submarine apart, rip out the guts and replace it with something new, new technology. And this is what we do on a regular basis. Enabling the modular thinking is the people. We are developing through our agile teams using Scrum as a working method. And all this combined allows us to stay ahead of the game. In the background here, you can see the very same submarine as we showed earlier. This one is still going strong now 50 years later. Today, the Sea Serpent class submarines are protecting the waters of Singapore by the Singapore Navy under the new name of the Challenger class. This can be done by using disruptive technology combined with modular thinking. Just imagine that the handheld calculator was invented 50 years ago. What do you think will be invented in 2067? Oh, and for those of you who might not know, we are currently building submarines. Submarines with the disruptive technology that would stay ahead of the game half a century to come. Thank you. Thank you.